So we were hearing the everyone on the court today. Is a loud group? I mean, louder than... Oh, my goodness. Know. Yeah, it's a very, very live group, as you can tell. There's a lot of um, friendly smack talking going on. It's a very, very feisty group. Is, is that just, I mean, there's so many newcomers, they just made me feel comfortable? Where do you think that stems from? I just think it's just everybody's natural competitive nature. I don't think... Well, I think just with all of us that have been already at the program for a year or two, um, we just have allowed them to like feel really comfortable. And I think that it just kind of comes naturally when they play, and so they don't really hold back anything. What are all the things that feel different moving on from, as you transition from last season to this season? Um, I think just like a leadership role. I can tell that like with Andy, obviously, is like a middle. And just like what she's capable of, I don't think starting is anything that's far out of her future and so it's just like one of those things that when we have questions during practice she's asking me and like I remember on the first day she's like Becca I'm gonna follow you I was like oh crap like I've never because I was used to usually being like the followee like I never really had to think about that and so um, just knowing that someone is watching my move and like what I'm doing in practice and like you know how I talk to coaches just things like that like that's what she's gonna assume is the standard and so I think just being that kind of older sister figure is new. What's been uh, your favorite part about watching the uh, and interacting with the new people? I love them. I mean, I've I've known Lainey and who else? I've known Lainey since we were 15, and Hayden we played together. But I've known Lainey since we were 15. We played on my first ever my first ever USA volleyball team together, and then um, after that I met Harper, Caroline. Um, I got to just meet Andy here, and she's just always been such a light, just a great great girl. Um, and then obviously Maggie through USA. So I've already played some tough volleyball with these girls, and I got to get to know a little bit of their story, like their family, just their habits, just kind of who they are off the court. And so, I don't know, it just kind of feels like I'm playing with my best friends. Coach says that y'all haven't talked about kind of your, what you want to get out of the spring, but personally, what are your goals and objectives during the spring practice season? Um, well, I guess just like more specifics. It's not really like numbers, but like just being really effective in transition. I think blocking has always been one of my strengths. And I don't know, I feel like I would be able to level up this next season, especially just in the Big Ten in general, if I'm able to kill more balls. Um, and then obviously get my servant. Like that was just really huge um, for me last season. I think what hurt the team as well is just like me just as a volleyball player was like not being able to do that for the team. So just really focusing on that and doing it in random moments because I might not serve for about an hour and then right at the end of practice when the score is 24 all because we like, you know, as you guys saw, like we play intense. So it really does feel like a real match. And I think like I got to be able to show up and serve. And so I think just being able to do it well in practice and keep the keep the pressure in practice. How important is that intensity in practice to, for you guys to translate that to the court for matches? Oh, it's huge. I think that um, what, it, what it makes me think of is Micah Christensen. He had a Zoom call with a couple of our setters. And he mentioned that like the big moments in his like actual life play, whether it's the Olympics and all that other stuff, like they're not very big to him because he takes practice so seriously. And um, it also makes the big moments a lot less scary, like personally speaking, just when I'm able to put that kind of pressure on myself, like if I'm, I get probably, I don't know how many more reps in practice just doing the same skill and in a volleyball game, yeah, I'll do a couple, but it's usually not the same rep over and over. And so, I don't know, just taking each of those reps seriously will help when I probably have to do it once or twice in a game. Do people talk to you about that outdoor match much? You're in the public when you're out in the public They lunch. are more. Um, where was it? One of my friends who plays soccer, she mentioned that um, someone asked her about the game. So just because she was wearing a, a Nebraska shirt. So it's being talked about, like, not just in Nebraska. So, yeah, it is definitely a conversation. You doing any recruiting on for your brother? <laughs> um, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say on that. <laughs> no. I mean, obviously, like, I love him, and he's a lot of the reason why I'm the competitor the way I am. And so, being able to actually like go to school with him one more time, because I got to um, go to school with him when I was in high school, but only for about a year. And like, freshman, senior in high school, very different. But like, I feel like I've I've learned about a lot just about life, school priorities. Like, I'm going more like you know into the woman I am today. And so I think like going to school and hanging out with him here, we would almost be like adults at this point, or at least I'd like to think so. So it'd be really cool, but I'm going to support with whatever he chooses.